here with Lee Ronaldo. Hi. Hello, laundry uh, laundry lovers. I can see the red door slamming on the stage. Chaos in the street, these are the days of rage. So, Sonic Youth just went on a hiatus. Yes, indeed. Can you tell me your, your, your take? Well, my take is that we are on hiatus. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of personal issues being sorted out uh, by some of the members. <laughs> Yes. And um, that's really all I can tell you. I mean, we have not amongst ourselves discussed anything about what might happen in the future. I mean, you know, my take on it right now is that we'll probably not do anything for a long time. And beyond that, who knows? So I, re I really don't know. I know, you know, a lot of people ask, and I really take it as a sign of kind of how much love people have for the band, that people are concerned with what we might do, what we might not do. But um, well, there's not a whole lot to tell right now, really. There's just uh, there's just some working out going on. You know, Thurston put out a record recently. He's out on tour. Everybody's kind of really busy. Steve Shelley's in Disappears. He's in Disappears as well as playing with me. He's like the hardest working man in show <laughs> business right now. He goes from one tour to the other, just like mm -hmm. ping pong ball. And uh, Kim's been doing some shows again recently, and she's working on a fashion line with this company in France called Surface to Air. Um, so, you know, everybody's really busy. Thurston and I both moved to New York around the same time, like 1979, 80, right around then. And you know, we were both drawn here by everything that was happening in the music scene, the CBGB's Maxis kind of axis. And I had just come from art school and he came down from Connecticut and Kim had come to New York around the same time from art school in LA. And um, I had an early band called The Flux and Thurston had a band called The Coachman. And we ended up seeing each other play and eventually playing together on some bills and kind of getting to know each other and and uh, I was doing we were each doing other things and he and Kim were starting to put together this fledgling group that was starting to be called Sonic Youth and um, I think they did a couple gigs under the name Sonic Youth before I joined and then in the summer of 1981 Thurston organized this festival on uh, all the way on the west side of Spring Street at this gallery that was there called White Collins called the Noise Fest and it was nine days of all the marginal music that was going on in New York. So Glenn Branca and Reese Chatham on the art side and a lot of like local bands on the on the sort of rock indie rock side or whatever. We didn't call it indie rock back then. All the it, it was spawned by a promoter from this local like cool club, you know, sort of spurning all the local music, calling it like oh it's all just noise, you know, and so everybody kind of adopted that that title noise. as noise music and he said we're gonna have a noise fest, you know. And so we met there, and, and uh, I did something, and I played with Glenn Branca there as well, and, and Sonic Youth played a gig, and right after that, that band was splintering, and Kim just said to me one of those nights, she was like, you should play with Thurston, you guys would probably play really well together. And I think the week after the festival ended, we started rehearsing in the gallery, just the three of us, because the drummer had quit right after that gig. And we did, uh, we spent three or four months doing just trio gigs with no drummer, just kind of like banging on guitars and making a racket and seeing what we could do. and. Um, and uh, kind of started like that. <laughs> we played a, played like for three or four months as a, a trio, and then we got this guy Richard Edson to join us, who made our first record with us as a drummer. And, and then he went off to do uh, that film Stranger Than Paradise with Jim Jarmusch and become an actor. And and you know then we had a couple other drummers before Steve Shelley joined in '85, and that kind of solidified the band. So it started pretty casually. And it started from Thurston and my early bands in New York kind of grooving on each other a little bit. Very organically. Yeah, like yeah. Your new band. Yeah, it really did. That, that was always the cool thing about Sonic Youth. We weren't ever pushing anything, especially not business side of things. You know, we were pushing our music and really trying to take that to some interesting places, but you know, we were just kind of letting it happen. We were never really forcing anything that wasn't kind of naturally happening on its own. That's a good way to work. So your wife is an artist. She's an artist and like filmmaker, Leah Singer. She does, uh, we, you know, we do a lot of collaborative work together, both visual art-wise. We do gallery shows together, and we've been doing like a film and music performance since like the early 90s. For a long time it was called Drift, and it's, uh, you know, and these days it's two or three large-scale film screens and like a lot of backing ta tapes, and uh, like I said, I'm doing this thing with the swinging guitar sometimes, and um, sometimes solo, sometimes with a bunch of other musicians, different kinds of musicians, and. Uh, it's it's pretty fun. It's pretty different. It's it's more like a theatrical kind of cinematic experience. It's lots of film to see. And, um, I'm kind of doing live soundtrack in a way. So you have children. Yeah. How old are your children? Yeah, I have three. I have one who's 26, 
probably about your age. Yes, and very close. Uh, he's he's out on the road with us here, teching guitars. <laughs> cool. He's been you know he's been traveling on the road with Sonic Youth since he was a little kid, and I have two little boys who are ten and twelve. Cool. Are they interested in music? They are. They're interested in music. They've kind of had an interesting young life. They co-starred in a film about a year and a half ago called Daddy Long Legs. This uh, independent New York film by these two really amazing directors called uh, Josh and Benny Softy and uh, they were it's it's about a it's about a kind of screwed up dad who's divorced from his wife and and uh, he has he has his kids for two weeks every year and he's not really very good at it. It's kind of funny it's, it's kind of poignant and so they play his sons and actually Leah plays the ex-wife so she's in it heavily. I'm in it for a minute but I'm not in it very much but the three of them are in it a lot and they were the stars. So we went to Cannes for the film festival, we went to Sundance awesome. and yeah, so they've done a couple other things. One of them did a little something with Spike Lee, like six months ago. Just a little something. Yeah, like, well, it was. It was like a s seven or eight minute piece. For, uh, it was like a 9/11 memorial piece. Um, yeah, so you know they they kind of have gotten a taste of of so acting. Whole, yeah, the you know, just kind of. Involved. Yeah, and they, they weren't you know they weren't uh, trying to be actors or anything. They were just kind of like the director walked up to them on the street and said, "We're looking for two kids to play brothers in this movie." And, this whole thing rolled out of that, and, and they play, you know, they play piano. One of them plays guitar. One of them plays clarinet. They're they're definitely musical. Slip behind the valley so what's the Vivian girls up to? Sit. Who knows? Okay, yeah. interesting. That's cryptic. Things might be on the uh, on the horizon at some point. Oh really? Yeah. Might have a pop hit on the horizon. <laughs> maybe maybe it's in the studio right now being being worked on. Okay. Ooh, it's tantalizing. <laughs>